off on 22 points, but still a good seven clear of the drop zone. It will be small steps for Chelsea, but they are up to 28 points. They are level with Liverpool, their next opponents in the Premier League. Uh, next Saturday morning, uh, they have played a game more than Jurgen Klopp's side, and they've edged up there uh, to 28, which is still 10 off the top four. Much more from Berber and from Wrighty to come, because, of course, we are getting closer to the big one. The ball. Let's just remind yourselves of how Chelsea got back to winning ways. Now, you were critical of Kai Havertz at half-time with a header, but he did pretty well with this one, didn't oh, he? He did, he did, to be honest. But that situation here, quick corner kick and two against one situation, is always a good one if you know how to use it. In this case, it was a perfect cross. And this time, he connected the ball really well. Okay, Harvard saying it was it was a good goal. See, well, for Zaha, he, he realises he has to be out there. Yeah. He's got to move first. He, he, he can't worry about the, uh, the 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 guy on the right there who's down the line. He can't worry about that. He's got to go to. He's got to go closer to Ziyech to try and stop that cross. He's got too much time to put that ball into an area where there's so many people. And in that instance, all he's got to do really so close is get his head on it. You know, the defender. I think it's Decore doesn't even get off the ground. But it's all about the cross, that was, that was a fantastic cross. It's got to be stopped at source, that's what's got to happen. So Kai Havertz is the match winner, and here he is after that 1-0 win. How difficult a time has this been these last few months? Yeah, f I mean, for everyone at the, at the club, you know, incredibly, incredibly tough. Um, it's not easy, you know, under these circumstances, you know, a lot of uh, things changed this, this year. And, um, you know, sometimes even as a player... Um, you know, it's tough because we have so many injuries, so many players. They come from the World Cup, they played so many games, you know. We have, I don't know, 10, 12 injured, injured players and then someone else has to play. We have five five young players in the starting 11, uh, starting 11 I think, uh, who, who are doing a really good job in the moment. And, um, you know, it's, it's tough for us all, but, you know, everyone is together in that moment and we just have to stick together. You obviously scored the winning goal. Talk us through it. Hakim put it on a plate for you, didn't he? Yeah, um, I think I was, um, you know, in a, in a good spot. Um, uh, even in the first time, I think uh, Hakim gave uh, me a lot of good balls, and um, you know, I finally scored. So I'm happy. So one nil to Chelsea. It's nil nil at Stamford Bridge between Chelsea and Crystal Palace. It's been a really good watch, though. Um, chances at both ends. Chelsea, could they have been a little bit more composed in front of goal at times? For sure, for sure. They have a couple of chances where they can uh, uh, do better. Uh, but everything starts with Ziyech in this mm. game. Everything starts, yeah. he's moving everything. And this chance here in particular, yeah. this must be a goal. First mm. of all, because the goalkeeper is making a mistake and he's making it easy for the, for the striker to score. Secondly, though, Kai Harvard is not a centre forward, typical okay. centre forward. Mm. If a centre forward was there, look, you just need to just get it past the goalie. Yeah, pass, pass the goalie. The ball is going mm. to the goal, and yeah. it's a goal. And this they need to fix. Uh, and then after that, they have a couple more chances, especially here as well. I think was that missing? Like, yeah, he he was do better than that, but you know, mm. next time. I think I think the goalkeeper nearly put this in, Steve. Yeah, because mm. he was going out. It's a tough yeah. angle. It's a tough angle for for the for, for Chelsea player there, Hall there. But like it was, uh, it's been it's been good. But Chelsea, they they got to be they got to be careful because Palace. I could feel that Palace feel like they can get something off of Chelsea. This is a good chance as well. Good save. Ziyech again. Yeah, yeah. Ziyech again. He's been for me. I think Chelsea's most potent player in, in the way he's. He's hurt them when he's got the ball. Conor Gallagher's done a couple of bits as well, but Ziyech is the one who's really causing problems. Maybe they need one goal just to relax a little yeah, bit. Maybe. Well, they've got the new boy uh, being introduced to the crowd at half-time. Michele Mudrik is a Chelsea player. The 22-year-old has signed an eight-and-a-half-year contract. Reports of a fee of up to 62 million. Reports of a fee of up to 62 million pounds to start with anyway, but he is uh, being introduced to the crowd at half-time and he will wonder whether he'll see any goals in the second half. You mentioned Palace's threat. They've yeah. been excellent at times as well, haven't they? they? Have. I think they've defended very well, even though I feel that Chelsea haven't taken full advantage. But this is what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to try and win the ball in these areas and give Wilfred Zaha a chance because you can't get the ball and then give it to him in that respect. You've got to give it to his feet, give him a chance to get on it. Same there with Ayu again. The ball is poor into him. And then I think this is, I think this is the best chance so far in the first half. When you look at this, Jeffrey Schlup, goalkeeper's way out. I think he's just, that's a very easy skill to just get that over him. He's got so much space. 
so much scope to get that right, and he, he doesn't take the opportunity. Again, Michael Elise, who I believe as well has been really good, when he's got this kind of opportunity, he's taken Hall on and he's beaten him. And we've seen that when there's space behind him, if they can get the ball to him quicker and he can get a one-on-one -on -one with Hall, he seems to get the better of him. With this situation, he makes a really good one-two. One, one, no one goes with him. And then he, he's just, he's, he's, he's almost caught it too well. The goalkeeper's in a good position and he should save this. But Palace has shown that they've got a threat. This is a, such a great save. That's a great save because it's a great ball in. And when you look at where he is, he's actually diving backwards. He's very good wrist on it. And it's a, it's a, it's a very good for save. Good yeah, for all criticism Kepa is getting sometimes, he actually makes him a really good save yeah. uh, as well. And that, this is a great example, great reaction. And it's, uh, it's new, new because of that, of yeah. that thing. It is Stamford Bridge. It was in the end 1 0 to Newcastle at St James's Park against Fulham as well. That after they've lost uh, their main man, Bruno Gimarash, in tears going off with that ankle injury at half time uh, to be replaced by Alisson Maximum. And then an extraordinary uh, penalty incident, Berber, for your former club. Yeah, and in all honesty, the first incident was a penalty for me, not this one, to be honest. But in the end, the pen was awarded. And we all saw what happened, though it's, it was not fair in my mind. It was not fair, the result. And Mitro just slipped. And when you, when you hit the ball into your other leg, obviously, you, you get a free kick. And exactly what you did, look, it's, it's not fair. And this happened before with Zayas, with Chelsea, I think, right? Mares. Mares, yeah. Mares, yes. the same thing. And uh, the performance of Fulham. Was, was, was good and I don't think they deserve to, to lose that game. And then he's at the club record signing back in the Premier League for the first time since mid-September. Right? Really, really good awareness from Callum Wilson there with where he is and where he's just put that ball back into it. When you, when you see it from behind the goal, um, it, was, uh, it was really good for him to see him at the back stick there with the outside of his foot. But yeah, it's very unfortunate, very unfortunate for Fulham and, and Mitrovic because to... to, to to not get a goal for that is yeah. so unlucky for him. And to lose the game like this, sorry, just to lose the game like this in the last minutes of the game with the performance they did, yeah. I mean, they will be sitting in the dressing room. Yeah. Just so disappointed. Now, you've been very friendly watching those two games with me. That's about to change because yeah, it is North <laughs> London derby time. We're almost ready. 